what happens when someone goes to an online store and uh, buys something for like $25, like a t-shirt? Uh, usually the online store will, uh, the platform where the, that, that runs the, the online store will take a cut of your uh, sale price. So if, you, if someone pays $25, uh, the seller will, the, the online store will take a cut of like $2, a percentage out of the pay, price you paid. Uh, if, and if you use something like a PayPal on top of it, and, uh, because, uh, for example, you cannot accept only uh, credit cards, you want to uh, accept uh, PayPal for other people, uh, there is an extra cut for PayPal as well. So uh, in the end, the person who is selling is getting like $22 instead of uh, $25. Now, currently, uh, if you open a Shopify store and you install a, a, an integration that allows uh, payments with crypto. Let's assume it, it's, uh, it allows ADA. It doesn't, okay? But let's assume it does. So when you sell something through Shopify on uh, online for ADA, and let's say the price of the T-shirt is 25 ADA, Shopify will take a cut of your uh, sale for $23. And then Coinbase will also get uh, to process the payment and uh, convert everything to ADA and send you the ADA. It's also going to uh, take a cut, right? So the the what I want to, to make happen is if you go and create an online store and you sell something for $25 and a, a person pays for $25, how do I get this $25 to go to the seller? So the idea is that with uh, this uh, e-commerce integration, we, uh, we can make this happen. And uh, if the, the, this online store takes a cut and I, uh, some, some, some online platforms, they take a cut anyway of the, of the purchase price. So, but uh, the integration that I put in the middle there, it doesn't take an extra cut on top of it. So even though it, uh, you paid 25, uh, the online platform took its cut. Uh, from there, there is nothing else. So it's not like PayPal, for example, who is going to take another 1% or 2 or 3 or 5% over the, pro the, the, the sale that, that happened. So how this uh, will work? Uh, essentially, I will run a server online that integrates with the, with the online store, it communicates with the online store, and the seller needs to share a public root key. This is basically when you open, uh, when you create a, 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 a wallet in Daedalus, uh, you, you'll see these uh, payment addresses. The payment addresses for receiving a payment are generated from this public root key. So uh, this is something you can share with the world, and, and it basically maps back to your wallet uh, so you, you send that to the free commerce server uh, through an integration that is going to be uh, available on Shopify. Um, what happens when someone goes and, and makes an order? Um, that notification that an order has been created will go to the free commerce server. And it's going, using the public root key, it's going to generate this uh, payment address and send that to the customer. Hey, you need to pay $25, uh, 25 ADA in this case. What happens when the, when the person who bought something uh, buys, he will send then 25 ADA to the blockchain and the seller will get the, the 25 uh, ADA uh, on his wallet. So it's a straight wallet to wallet solution. It doesn't go through an intermediary. It doesn't go to my server. What my server does, it's it, it just uh, observing the orders being created, and when something is created and uh, it and the and the customer is, uh, chose to pay with ADA, it will then instruct the guy to pay to a given address, and from there it will monitor the blockchain and see that uh, 25 ADA were paid on the blockchain. When it happens, it will notify the store uh, uh, the person paid. So it can also notify uh, additional services that, uh, that uh, exist. Some, some people create stores that um, uh, they don't have the product. They just they show you the product they are going to sell, but uh, the payment uh, will go to, uh, to some, other per some other company. It's like this is called drop shipping. So it's going to go to another uh, entity who will uh, then produce the item that was bought and, and, and send it to the, to the customer. So it can also notify external services uh, uh, 
of the of a uh, of, of a successful purchase. So the idea is that if you want to run an, a, a Shopify store and sell your items using Ada, you, con you uh, the the sellers they will install this app uh, for Shopify that run on my server, for example. Okay, so multiple stores run. Uh, integrated with my server that will then communicate with Shopify for them. And my thing needs to go here. Uh, there you go. But what I also want to do is uh, that server that I am setting up is not my only. It's something I, I'm creating as an open source project that everyone can run. So uh, if you are another, uh, if you are a seller that you and you want to run your own integration with Shopify, you can just grab the code and put it to run on your own server. You can make it uh, work with uh, multiple other uh, uh, online stores as well. So it's not like uh, everyone needs to rely on me. So everyone can, uh, if they don't want to use my server, they can use their servers as well to process orders for them. So Shopify is the, is the, uh, initial step here. The idea of this uh, work is to integrate with every single uh, e-commerce platform that exists out there where it the single server can communicate with everything and or some of the things, it all depends on what you want to do. Uh, so uh, there are many other uh, Online platforms, not only Shopify out there. So there's Joomla, Magento, OpenCart, WooCommerce. Uh, this is something that will come later. But the idea here is to build the infrastructure that will enable not uh, only Shopify to work, but everything to work. So the, the bulk of the, of the work now is build this infrastructure and start with Shopify. And once we get this ready and working properly, and then we are going to start working to make it work for these other platforms as well. So more online stores can sell their goods for ADA. Now we have a problem uh, when we are using uh, uh, regular wallets for this sort of uh, operation. So you are a business, you want to sell things and you use your wallet. Now you open Daedalus and you're gonna see uh, this, you're gonna see uh, ADA, uh, ADA received, but you don't know, who paid you? If you just look at that, All you right, just got see one minute you... left. Just so you know. Just okay, one. cool. Okay. And the customers also don't see anything. Uh, so I'm, this uh, also requires me to create a wallet that will uh, communicate with the server and the blockchain. And in this uh, wallet, the top search result. Oops. And 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 with this wallet, uh, it will show the transactions that were made and it will uh, track purchases, sales, it will generate reports, upload the public root key to the server, something that you cannot do that, uh, from a regular uh, wallet, currency conversion. Um, it can also store data from these web stores. So if you run uh, an online store, it can get the data from there and store locally if you want. And it's, it also solves the uh, address gap issue, uh, which is something uh, that I, Probably not, I'm not going to go now because it's it's going to be a long uh, explanation, but uh, that's pretty much it. So yep. there's, the sh there's the integration and the wallet that needs to go uh, to work to enable businesses to uh, actually run as a business uh, on the blockchain.